Every day at the city, there are literally hundreds of issues and situations to manage. It's nonstop. And it would be easy to spend our entire time putting out fires and attending to the problems at hand. Of course, we must do all of that. But at the end of this term, I want to show you concrete examples of how we made things better and how we laid a strong foundation for the city's future. That's why I have elevated five priorities. I announced them on the first day of the job, and they have been the focal point of my first hundred days as your mayor. We also what I call the rule of the hand. Here's the hand. We focus on five priorities at a time, and, one is, and when one is managed and ready to come off, we add another. And here's the first five. Number one is restoring bus service. By now, most people are aware of the serious impact of the cuts to bus routes last year. I know that we need to balance the budget, but I would not have cut the bus routes. So many people rely on the bus service. And the key word here is rely. People rely on the bus to get to and from work and school. They rely on the bus to take care of their daily needs, to get to doctor's appointments, and to buy their food. They rely on the bus to come when it is supposed to come. I also think that when riders buy a ticket, they should expect to find a seat in a safe and clean vehicle and not to have to sit in the dark worried that the bus will pass them by if it is full. And this was happening. And this was happening in our rural areas around our island. That's why restoring this service is a priority. And it is one of the first things that we started to address. Director of Transportation Services, Mike Formby, and his team looked at where the most critical areas to restore were, and he presented me with a phased plan. The first round started in March, and we plan to restore service in five more routes in May and complete the restoration in August. I have dedicated $3.5 million in my budget to cover this priority, and we are going to better integrate the bus into the overall city plan for transportation services. Mike Formby is another example of a poi pounder. Remember all the complaints about not having public restrooms open at the Alapai Transit Center? Remember Councilwoman Ann Kobayashi? <laughs> Given how many people go through this transit center every day, and you understand this, it's critical that we provide public bathroom facilities. They said it would take half a year to do this, but Mike teamed up with Ross Sasamora, the Director of Facility Maintenance, and they got these restrooms open within two months. I would like Mike Formby and Ross Sasamora to stand up and be recognized two, two other examples of Poi Pounders. The thing that bothers me about Mike is he has more white hair than I do. <laughs> 